Emmanuel Umbori Idie is only 16 years old, but he's now the parent to six younger sisters. Last Christmas, the children ran from the gunmen that stormed their village in South Sudan. They were looting of people's properties, killing, raping, burning of houses. All this I witnessed with my eyes. Emmanuel's mother was killed. He doesn't know if his father is still alive. As I'm speaking now, I, I can feel like crying, but as I'm a man, I cannot cry because my mother was shot during <laughs> that crisis and my father has left us to come here and went back. We don't know why he is now. Recent fighting in South Sudan's equatorial states has pushed thousands of people into the Democratic Republic of Congo. In Dungu, refugee children have been taken in by strangers. But Emmanuel speaks of boys back home who were abducted to be soldiers. His sister Victoria tells of friends taken as wives and slaves. These guys in the bush, they came arresting girls, going with them to the bush. And if they arrest you, you go there cooking for them, they turn you as your wife. And if you refuse to do such, they will shoot you dead. UNHCR and the Congolese authorities are registering new refugees here. It's the first step towards getting people the help they desperately need. C'est des conditions très difficiles pour ces personnes-là et je pense que en matière de d'abri, de nourriture, de 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 médicaments, et nous avons besoin d'intervenir très rapidement. These children have little hope of going home soon. I don't think peace can come out of our country because most of the children have been taken to the forest and their fathers are even in sorrow for their children. Now safe, Emmanuel and others are slowly picking up the pieces of their shattered childhoods. <laughs>